intentions behind it? What's going on in Jaipur? Dave, can you hear me? Dave, can you hear me? All right, let's uh, re-establish uh, Dev in moments from the, uh, now. Abhishek Mishra is uh, joining us from Prayagraj. Abhishek, from an educational perspective, uh, what have the schools in Prayagraj done to educate the students uh, about uh, this one of its kind and last solar eclipse of the year? Well, Chaiti, as far as you know, educational approach is concerned, Prayagraj is uh, particularly a holy city. And today, because of the Deepavali, you know, holidays are going on. So there has not been much of uh, such uh, event happening, although there is a Jawahar planetarium in Anand Bhavan, but that is also closed today. But uh, whosoever is coming on the banks of River Ganga, they are witnessing it with using the specialized glasses. So that is something which we can see. Uh, but uh, majorly, it's all about the belief uh, Prayagraj has and the people specifically we witnessed the uh, you know devotees coming from madhya pradesh from uh, from delhi chandigarh even from the parts of himachal pradesh punjab and they have a belief that you know at the uh, taking the holy dip at the confluence of uh, river ganga and yamuna uh, it is something which can only and only get the benefit in prayagraj so that is something which is more evident we have been witnessing about you know the kirtans religious, happening here religious uh, belief and right there and that's a religious belief uh, of the people they're uh, conducting all these religious rituals and ceremonies as well. We'll continue getting you more details as far as this is concerned. Uh, we're slipping into a break when we return. Rishis and out takes charge as UK's new Prime Minister. It sparks a political war in India after opposition asked if something similar can even happen in India. The BJP hits back citing examples of Manmohan Singh and Abdul Kalam. are watching India Today. Your media plans smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Audiotron. Hang on, we're going to actually now start investing. Rishi Raj in UK. Rona Dhona here. 
Diversity Brigade Wales and India. Sunak win triggers fake diversity despos. Netas use Sunak to decry the Indian system. Ignorant ammo just for political points. Big Desi war over Videshi Prime Minister. Our big focus on Five Life. And honestly, viewer, I can only feel sorry, and I'm sure you feel sorry as well, for those who feel the need to point fingers at the Indian political system just to score political points. And the ammunition they're using is Mr. Brown, Rishi Sunak, becoming the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Not through a popular vote, but because of the total decimation of that prime ministerial race within the Conservative Party. But that's politics for you here in India, especially in election season. The desperate are getting more desperate. I'm Shiv. This is Five Live. These are the headlines. Rishi Sunak takes charge as the new UK Prime Minister. The third UK Prime Minister in the last 45 days. He sparks a political war here in India, his country of origin. After opposition leaders ask if something similar can ever happen in India, BJP hits back, cites the examples of Manmohan Singh and Abdul Kalam. Communal clashes in Vadodara, Gujarat on the occasion of Diwali yesterday. Two groups clash with instances of stone pelting reported. The police who tried to calm the situation were attacked with petrol bombs by an unruly crowd. Five people have been arrested in connection with a blast which took place near a temple in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu on October the 23rd. The police are probing a terror angle. BJP accuses Chief Minister Stalin of downplaying the suicide terror angle. Out on parole, rape and murder convict Gurmeet Ram Rahim's fresh provocation. The self-styled murderer, rapist, godman held online satsangs and released new music videos after coming out on parole. That is the level of his shamelessness. World Witnesses last solar eclipse of the year, expected to last till about 6 this evening. Doors of Kedarnath and Badrinath Temple closed due to celestial phenomena. A battered and floundering United Kingdom has just welcomed its newest Prime Minister, the third Prime Minister in just the last 45 days. Rishi Sunak has now officially taken over as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. These are the latest pictures of Rishi Sunak meeting with King Charles just a few days after Liz Truss had met with the Queen who was alive at that time. That's how fast politics has moved in the United Kingdom. It's the beginning of a new era. Also the first Prime Minister under the reign of King Charles III. Sunak will now officially form the new government in London after the traditional norm of a meet and greet that has just taken place at the Buckingham Palace. Rishi Sunak, once a hedge fund manager before plunging into politics, is a man of many firsts and I'm sure you've heard all of those on social media and on your WhatsApp groups in the last 24 hours. From being the first Prime Minister of South Asian descent in the UK, the youngest to become the British Prime Minister, to also being the wealthiest to hold the post. His rise has been nothing short of meteoric. The UK Prime Minister faces the task of steering the economically bruised, battered and floundering United Kingdom that's currently staring at stalled economic growth propelled by a cost of living crisis that is some of the worst situations in living memory. I am humbled and honoured to have the support of my parliamentary colleagues and to be elected as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. It is the greatest privilege of my life to be able to serve the party I love and give back to the country I owe so much to. I pledge that I will serve you 
with integrity and humility, and I will work day in, day out to deliver for the British people. I will place economic stability and confidence at the heart of this government's agenda. This will mean difficult decisions to come. The government I lead will not leave the next generation, your children and grandchildren, with a debt to settle that we were too weak to pay ourselves. I want to pay tribute to my predecessor, Liz Truss. She was not wrong to want to improve growth in this country.